The Minister of State at the Ministry of Defence, the Right Honourable James Heapy, hosted the UK Srebrenica Memorial Day 2023 at Lancaster House on Tuesday 4th July on behalf of His Majesty's Government to commemorate the 28th anniversary of the Srebrenica genocide, the worst atrocity on European soil since the Second World War. The national ceremony is one of hundreds of memorial events and activities taking place during UK's Srebrenica Memorial Week, which is running from 4th to 11th July, and will see communities from across the country come together in a collective act of remembrance in schools, local authorities, police stations, workplaces and places of worship, to name but a few. The keynote speech at this year's UK National Srebrenica Memorial Day was delivered by His Excellency President Denis Bacirovic of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Alicia Cairns, MP, Chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee in British Parliament, MP Stephen Doty, Shadow Minister for Foreign and Commonwealth Affairs and International Development, and attended by high-profile dignitaries, including ambassadors and high commissioners, politicians from across the political spectrum, senior faith and community leaders, as well as British Bosnian survivors of the genocide and ethnic cleansing. The chair of Remembering Srebrenica, Dr. Vakar Azmi, OBE, said, We are proud that our country is the largest commemorator of Srebrenica memorial activities in the world which not only seeks to bring people together to learn the lessons of the past in order to create stronger, more inclusive communities, but also inspires future generations to take action to stand up to hatred and intolerance. This year's UK National Srebrenica Memorial Day theme, Together We Are One, is particularly important in not just coming together as one to honour the memory of the Srebrenica victims, but remember Russia's ongoing war of aggression in Ukraine and to highlight the little-known fact that Russia is also helping to destabilize Bosnia-Herzegovina and supporting the denial of genocide and glorification of those people who committed the genocide, he said. Azra Omerbegovic, a survivor, shared her witness testimony. Somber musical performances were given by the Elva Solak and Lele Yusic, whilst prayers delivered by Hanna Seric, a second-generation survivor, and Eamon Asmi, national convener, young ambassadors of Remembering Srebrenica. Finally, the vote of thanks was given by Lord Bourne of Aberystwyth, President of Remembering Srebrenica. S.M. Irfan Tahir, World News London. I'm the UK's Minister for the Armed Forces. Um, this is an incredibly important event to remember the awful uh, things that happened in Srebrenica and in the whole of Bosnia and Herzegovina um, only 28 years ago. Um, I think it's a timely reminder that with all that is going on uh, around Europe today and with Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine, we must all remain focused on the challenge of maintaining security uh, in the Western Balkans and in Bosnia and Herzegovina particularly. And so it was powerful tonight to hear the testimony of survivors and to be reminded of that importance. And I will make sure that we in the UK MOD continue to work closely with our friends in Sarajevo to make sure that Bosnia remains peaceful, stable, and on a trajectory towards Euro-Atlantic, uh, the Euro-Atlantic community. Good evening, my name is Alicia Kearns, I'm Chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee. It was a real privilege to be here this evening because when we commemorate Srebrenica, we are not just remembering those whose stories must be heard and must not be silenced, but we are also learning to make sure that we do not allow this to ever happen again. And it was such a joy to be joined here by the President. And I hope that the meeting today with Rishi Sunak, Prime Minister, shows that the UK is resolute in our commitment to our friends in Bosnia. Stephen Doughty, MP for Cardiff South and Panath and Shadow Minister for Europe for the Labour Party. Well, the work of remembering Srebrenica is incredibly important. Um, I travelled with them uh, many years ago and saw for myself uh, the location of the terrible events of 28 years ago, uh, an event which um, we must remember, uh, but we must resolve again and again to never allow it to happen again. Uh, I've met with survivors, I've heard the terrible stories um, and the impact that that is having uh, still today. Uh, and I think of the diversity in my own community, um, a community like Sarajevo with religions and different cultures living alongside one another. Um, we must resolve never to allow hatred, uh, division uh, to flourish in our communities because that only leads towards violence and disaster. And that is the important work that Remembering Srebrenica is doing, bringing people together, not only to remember, but to fight for a better future. Thank you very much for interest. 
uh, to share our stories tonight. It was really emotional, as you could see, uh, bringing up uh, all our feelings and experience from the war. It was uh, again like uh, surviving the story again. And uh, for me, it's always like watching again uh, what was happening. And I always became very emotional. So, uh, but I decided to say my story uh, in order to educate people, to let them know that the story, my story, or anybody who survived uh, should not be forgotten because uh, we, on this way, teach people uh, not to forget those and that history never repeats again. Lord Bourne of Aberystwyth, President of Remembering Srebrenica. I think it's most important that we come together in Commemoration Week, as we have done this evening here at Lancaster House, to renew our commitment to Commemoration Week. This is the 28th anniversary of the dreadful genocide, the worst genocide that there's been in Europe since the Holocaust. And it's important that we carry the message across to all our communities that this must never happen again. I'm very grateful for the government funding that we receive. I hope that continues in the future. It needs to, to make sure that we can run a full program of events. But it was great to see colleagues across party here sending out that very powerful message and join with the president of Bosnia who was here with us today. That's very important too, that His Excellency was here to speak to us and to commit us to renewing the message of hope and the commitment that we have to ensuring that there's never anything like the dreadful genocide that we saw in Srebrenica and Bosnia-Herzegovina 28 years ago. Hi, I'm Hannah Serik. I'm from Bosnia House and I think today's event is really important so that we don't forget and that we commemorate the genocide that happened in Srebrenica so that in future generations we can all move on and have hope for the future.